Hey guys, I hope that you guys are doing amazing wherever you are in the world. <laughs> it's funny because someone actually commented saying that I, they love the way I say amazing and I, I've been actually watching myself say that word and I think to myself, I just say it the way I say it. <laughs> Anyways, a diatribe. Um, so in this video, I wanted to speak to you guys about INFJs being home, hopeless romantics and uh, the bitterest of cynics at the same time. It's actually funny because I am obsessed with romantic soap operas. Now, I've never, I never wa used to watch soap operas when I was younger because I used to think they were absolutely idiotic. I mean, they frame the face and then they go out and they frame the face and they go, and I'm thinking to myself, why are you wasting so much time with this? My mom used to love Bold and the Beautiful and I used to sit and watch it with her because it was, you know, time to spend together. And I think to myself, oh my God, why is she watching this stuff? Now, look at me. Oh my God, everything turns full circle. And I'm sitting here watching Korean soap operas. I love them to death. They're so amazing. Uh, the people are beautiful and uh, they're actually pretty good actors. And the storylines are actually sometimes really interesting. So I've been really enjoying myself getting, whenever I, after a long day of work and I'm exhausted and I don't want to think, what I do is I put on a Korean drama, uh, a K-drama as they call it, and I put it on, I just watch it and binge on it and then I fall, fall asleep usually after an hour or so because because <laughs> i'm a grandmother but anyways so i watched that stuff and i think to myself you know this is pretty cool i watch the romance stuff uh, the the kids um the kids because there's mostly kids that are acting in it but the people in it they they show emotions of love towards each other and they do all these different things the men in it usually korean men are supposed to be very dominant and very romantic and I love the way they are towards the women in the shows, right? They're very romantic, very sappy. I like watching it for some reason, even though I don't like experiencing it myself. I like watching it with other people because it gives me hope for the world that there is romance in the world. You know, yes, people do give each other flowers. That's amazing. That's awesome. Don't give me flowers, but that's nice that people do that for each other, right? Uh, I love the fact that, you know, they're romantic with each other, they spend time with each other, they're sappy with each other, they tell each other I love you and, and all that stuff. It's great. It's so I am weirdly enough a hopeless romantic. I love romance in all of, a different, all of its different forms. I love rom-coms. If I was going to choose a movie to watch, I'd always choose a rom-com over anything else. Like Love Actually is one of my favorite movies or The Holiday, great movie, you know. Um, you got mail. I love Meg Ryan. So things like that. I love rom-coms. I love romance. I love the idea of it. I feel like there's a lot of hope in romance, right? Because that person might not necessarily like you. You don't know if they like you or not, but you're putting yourself out there because you're telling the world, I don't know if this person likes me, but I'm going to take a chance on the fact that they might like me. And if they don't like me, I'm going to make them like me. <laughs> Which a lot of these shows are like. The other side of us, obviously, is the bitterest cynic, right? We're very, very bitter and very cynical. Now, INTJs are much more cynical than INFJs because I know my sister, she is so cynical. I mean, so she'll sit there and watch the rom-coms with me, the K-dramas. And, you know, she watches them with me because it's fun. It's like um, something to do. It's easy. You don't have to think about it a lot. And it's a good way to spend time together. And so she'll watch it with me, but she'll just be sitting there and she'll be making all these comments like, really, really, you, you're really going to do that? Or are you really going to accept that gift even though she cheated on you or things like that? And she'll, she'll be like talking about all this stuff in the background, very cynically about what's going on, on screen. And I think to myself, wow, you're being very cynical. But in my head, I'm thinking those exact things sometimes. <laughs> and I think to myself, wow, yeah, it's very dif difficult because... For an INFJ, we are full of these random, weird, really irritating contradictions, right? I mean, yes, I love romance, but I also find a very, I'm very cynical about it. If someone is romantic towards me, I think to myself, what do you want from me? Why are you being like this? Or if I'm watching a romance or I'm watching someone being nice to each other, I'm thinking to myself, oh, that's nice. But what does he want from that person? Or why is he being so nice kind of thing? So there's always these two voices inside of my head. Now, I've spoken to you guys about happy boom and sad boom, right? Uh, but that was just one part of the spectrum of characters that are inside of me, personalities, not schizophrenic way, but just all of these different people that speak up all the time. And there's also the cynic boom, obviously, she's always there in the background speaking. And there's a the romantic boom. Now, the romantic boom is 
the person who causes me to do all of these things that I do. Right? She is the one who believes in the magic. She believes that everything is possible. She believes that she can make anything possible and make anything happen as long as she tries. Right? She's the reason I started doing these YouTube videos. Right? She's the reason I started doing a podcast. She's the reason I picked up and went to Chiang Mai, to Thailand, moved there and lived there for a year or two. She's the reason I do all these spontaneous, impulsive, awesome, crazy things. She makes my life interesting and amazing. Right? I love her. I also have this cynic boom inside of me, obviously. She's always there with the romance bo romantic boom and she's always punching each other out. You know, they're kind of fighting in the background. And my cynic boom is the one who keeps me on track. She's the one who says, yeah, maybe that'll be fun. But what about this? You know, what if this happens or what if that happens? Yeah, I'm sure you could start a YouTube video, but who's going to really watch you? You, no one is going to watch your videos. So why would you even do that? Or things like that. You know, she's always putting me on track. She's always pulling me back. She's always showing me the truth. She's always the practical one. She's always the one who is the one who, I guess, would be the reality <laughs> boom. Whereas my romantic boom is the one who lives in, up in the clouds and in the dream world. And she believes anything is possible. And she does everything with that faith that everything is going to work out. Right? Now, of course, from what I'm saying, I kind of favor romantic boom more than cynic boom because... I live in a world where I feel like everything is magic and I live a very amazing, I think, enchanted life. I have a very enchanted life. That's a good word for it. Yeah, enchanted. I live an enchanted life because I feel like everything just works out for me and I'm very lucky. I have really, really amazing supportive parents. Um, I have really supportive siblings and I live a good life and uh, the universe gives me everything that I want. So I'm very lucky that way. So I kind of favor romantic boom. but. Cynic Boom's always there in the background. She's always there and talking to me saying, you know, maybe, maybe you shouldn't trust that person that much. Recently, we were in Bogota, Colombia with my sister. I was, I was traveling with her. I just wanted to sh take her somewhere new. And we we're just roaming around and we were hearing all these stories about Uber drivers being really weird and being really, really dangerous. And you should never take an unauthorized driver, blah, 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 blah. And me and my sister looked at each other we're like, okay, cool, we'll take that into lesson. And the next day we were at the airport, um, take, going over to, from, yeah, at the Medellin airport. Right? So we had gone from Bogota to Medellin and we we're going home, we we're, sorry, going to our hostel. And we were waiting for our Uber, but the Uber didn't show up. And this random guy obviously showed up out of the blue. And he's like, yeah, um, my person who I was supposed to pick up didn't show up. Do you want me to give you a ride? You look like you're waiting for something. Now, the cynic boom obviously is like, no, don't do it. He's going to kill you. He's going to murder you. He's going to take all your money. He's going to take your phone, blah, blah, blah. Right? Yes, she does talk like that. And <laughs> the romantic boom is obviously like, oh, the universe loves me. Daisies and rainbows. Yes, yay, let's do it. We're going to get home. We're going to get to our hostel. I can relax, la, 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 tra, la, la, right? <laughs> Oh boy, I do sound crazy when I say these things. But anyways, so my sister obviously is completely cynical. Like she has, a ver she has romance in it, very little though, very, very little. And she favors her cynic side. So she favors the cynic Sona absolutely. Whereas I favor the romantic boom, right? And so she's like, no, no, I don't trust this person. They only took us, told us to take authorized drivers, la, 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 la. And so we're talking to each other. I'm like, you know, it's fine, I think. I trust him. I think it should be fine. So let's just take him. Let's just, let's just go. It's fine. It's not a big deal. The Uber driver is not showing up. Um, it's okay. He seems cool. <laughs> last, famous last words, right? No. Actually, it worked out. He was actually a really nice guy. He's actually, actually been a cop before he became a, a driver, a taxi driver. So he was a cop and he tells all these stories. He spoke pretty good English, very fast Spanish. Um, so I understood half of the conversation that was going on when he spoke in Spanish. And so we were sitting there and we got to the hostel really well, really easily. And you know, it was fine. It was actually I all worked out for the best. But it was always the fact that I'm following my romantic boom. If I was really following my cynic boom, I would have never done that. I wouldn't have done all the different things that I've done till now, right? I mean, I wouldn't have quit my job. I wouldn't have packed up and left to go to Thailand and live there. I wouldn't have met all these amazing people while I was traveling. I wouldn't have gone to all these people's houses to have dinner with them, even though I didn't know them, even though I just met them. Um, I've done all these things in my life, all these amazing things because I followed my heart, obviously, uh, and followed my gut, my trust, my, my gut instinct. I trusted my intuition. But more than that, I followed the romantic boom over the cynic boom.
So, you know, I, I lived a life because of that. Not that I don't trust Senek Boom, but I feel like she is a little too cautious and I'm not. Maybe I should be more cautious. Maybe that would be better for me. <laughs> but that's how I've been living my life. I'd love to hear from you guys. How do you guys look at your cynical side versus your romantic side? Because I know you have both of those in your in you. I'm sure there's a spectrum of it. Some of you favor more of the romance side. Some of you favor more of the cynical side. I mean, you know, that's the reason why we're all so different from each other. If you guys have any questions or any comments, message me anytime. I'm always here to answer your questions. And if you guys have any comments, obviously put them below. I, I read all comments, I promise you. Um, and I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.